Sometimes God is in odd events. <laughs> My wife and I had to take a train a while back. We uh, taking the train from Dallas to Chicago. And uh, I didn't have a, a lift to the train station. I didn't want to bug my kids. They were all real busy. And uh, my friend was unable to take me. And I, I told Adrian, I said, maybe, well, maybe we'll just have to take an Uber. That's what we did. Uh, I'm not much for Uber, but uh, my wife worked it out. The Uber driver came and picked us up at our house, and I'd have to say that sometimes God is in odd events. <laughs> so we headed to the station. Our, our driver, uh, nice, nice young man, uh, and I just had to ask him, uh, you know, how he was doing, strike up a conversation with the gentleman, and for some reason or another, he told me that he had earned his master's degree. And, uh, you know, I was curious how he connected those dots of getting his master's degree and driving an Uber. Not that there's anything wrong with that, uh, but I was trying to find out how he enjoyed uh, what he did. Was, was his work meaningful to him? And... I was shocked to learn that uh, not only had he received his master's degree, but he had studied and had, had uh, intended to become a missionary. And at some point before actually going to the mission field, he became a, a pastor in a charismatic church. All very interesting. And our conversation moved forward, and I was just asking him about his faith, and he said the most interesting thing. He had chosen to take a deep dive into academia, and his studies had created questions in his mind about Genesis and the creation account. And of all things, that left him perplexed. He deemed that the conflicts between what he called the old earth creationists and the young earth creationists are irreconcilable. And I listened politely and was surprised. And the fact is this young man had completely jettisoned his entire Christian worldview and decided that the God of Judeo-Christian religion doesn't exist. Well, I wasn't going to judge the young man, but I was certainly going to inquire further because I found it quite interesting. And I let him know that I was a believer and I told him that I didn't understand the differences between the biblical interpretations at issue, uh, the things he had raised. I didn't tell him I had multiple undergraduate, multiple graduate, and multiple postgraduate degrees, because those things really don't matter. What I told him was, I, would, I had been a drug pusher, I was a drug addict, and Jesus changed my life. And I'm just thankful and willing to answer his question uh, with the response that uh, I don't have all the answers, but mysteries are okay. Yeah. Sometimes God is in the out events and I believe mysteries are okay. He asked me how he could be expected to believe the Bible when he couldn't answer the questions about creation. I suggested a good answer might be, uh, I don't know. It's kind of arrogant to think that anyone can have all the answers. And he told me he had never had such a deep conversation about such matters. And he told me he had never told anyone else about his story. Mysteries are okay, and God is often in odd events. 
So when he dropped us off at the uh, Amtrak station, I asked if we could get together when we return, and he was pleased to do that. We exchanged texts with our contact information, and when I got out of the car, I just really felt God wanted me to go back and talk to him, and I did, and I asked him if we could pray together before we left. And so we stood outside the Amtrak station together, and we prayed. Praise the Lord. God is good. He loves us. And sometimes He's in the odd events. So we did get to Chicago and everything was going along all right. And we're walking down the street right on the Miracle Mile and a homeless bum screamed at a lady that was passing by. There were two gals walking together and he just punched her, hauled off and slugged her right in the face and then just kept walking on. No warning, no reason, just kablooey. How can such things be? We went on a little bit further and Adrienne looked at me and she said, I think you need to go to the doctor. I said, what do you mean? And uh, I apparently had an eye infection. And uh, she found an eye doctor in the middle of downtown Chicago and she got me in. And this nice gentleman, the eye doctor, examined me and he confirmed that uh, there was nothing wrong with me. I just had a had an infection and we started talking and uh, he had a puzzle, a visual puzzle on the wall. <laughs> and I, I was joking with him and he said that only four or five people out of over a thousand were able to uh, solve the puzzle on the wall. And it, my wife, Adrienne, she looked at it. She solved it without a problem. I was really struggling with that. I got to tell you, it really bothers me. <laughs> and then I told the doctor, I said, you know, I coincidentally have lots of degrees. <laughs> they really don't mean much. They were kind of worthless in that situation. And I realized I couldn't answer that Uber driver's question about uh, why he couldn't reconcile the two views of creationism and he just chose to not believe anything because of that. And then we're sitting in this eye doctor's office and I couldn't solve the puzzle. I couldn't answer the question. My wife had taken one look at it and she figured it out. And uh, I told the eye doctor, I said, well, she's just smarter than me. And that led to a discussion, and I asked the doctor about his faith. You know, it's okay to do that. We can just talk to people. We can just be real with people. And uh, we can ask each other questions and not judge them. We don't have to have all the answers but we can be real with people. I think that's what God wants us to do. Now, in the case of this doctor, um, he told me that he had been a missionary and I uh, was surprised. And we talked a while and had a wonderful discussion about Jesus and about Judaism. And um, I asked him a few more questions ab about his mission experience and I put two and two together and I figured out that uh, he was a Mormon missionary. And our conversation continued and it really was delightful and I told him a little bit more about my background and my faith and uh, I told him I wrote some books and I wondered if he might be interested in 
my views of faith and, uh, and Judaism and Christianity and church history. And he was fascinated. He really wanted to uh, hear my thoughts and study the things that I had concluded. And so uh, he, he received one of my books, Judaism Through the Eyes of Jesus. And he also received my book, The Passover Backstory. And as we were leaving the office, my wife, Adrian, who wasn't sure about some of the things that had been going on, she said to me, I think God wanted us to take the Uber and for you to go to the eye doctor. And I'm pretty sure that's the case. Sometimes God is just in the odd events. I want to remain open to God. I want to remain aware of what's going on around me and uh, I want to realize and remain aware that God is often in the odd events and I guess that would be my encouragement to you is to be willing to just be open and real and there, be there, be right there, right there in the moment, wherever you are, whenever you're there, be aware and realize that uh, God just might be in the odd events.